Family sessions have become one of my favorite sessions to photograph. This image specifically touched my heart when I saw it. It was a moment where we had to stop for the baby to eat as he was getting fussy and hungry. Dad stepped away to check on their toddler napping and we were left with mom and baby in the room. I was sitting on the floor and told her we would take a break to allow the baby to get comfortable again. While I was sitting there looking through the shots I had taken so far, I happened to look up and saw mom sitting and smiling at her son falling asleep. It was a moment that even as an observer, I could see the love between a mother and her child. So often, fleeting moments like this end up only in the mother's memories and can go unnoticed by those around them. I saw it, loved it, and had to capture it. In any in-home session I do, I take a look around the home to assess the lighting in each of the rooms we will be using. As a natural light photographer, it is important for me to know the quality of the light and the amount of it I have to use. I see where the light hits in the room to help me decide where we will have the family sit and if we need to make any minor adjustments to furniture to get the best soft lighting for the images. If I need, I will use a reflector to help fill any dark spots and remove or decrease the contrast in the shadows. In this image, there was a large window off to my left that I used for my main light source. They had a large lamp to my right that gave off a warm light. I typically would have turned it off, but I used it. It helped create a nice warm glow on mom's hair, which provided separation from the background. After the culling process, I apply my created preset in post, as I do with all my galleries. It is a look that is dark and moody and feels more true to my creative vision than the light and airy look that some photographers favor. I love my signature look I have created. It helps tell the stories of my clients as I see them. After the application, I tweak my exposure, highlights, whites, and blacks to make the image look and feel more intimate. I prefer images like this one to feel as if when we're viewing it, it's as if we're getting a glimpse into the room. This image represents my work as a whole. I see a mother's love for her child, and that is where my love for photography started. After losing my youngest son to SIDS 11 years ago, I'm able to look back at all of the images I have of him, and I cherish them. In my photography work, I do my best to capture moments for my clients that can be looked back on years down the road to help them remember the moments in life that can sometimes be forgotten to time. It is the small moments filled with emotion like the one between this mother and her son that I want most to remember as a parent. I love what I do best when I'm able to provide these visual memories for my clients. Life gets busy and messy, and as a photographer, I get to provide the stills of life for clients to look back on.